to SourceFed. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Joe Beretta. Jane Sherman was diagnosed with a degenerative brain disorder 13 years ago and is currently paralyzed from the neck down. Normally hope for Jam doing the simplest and smallest of things would be lost. But now, thanks to badass science, technology, and the doctors at Pittsburgh Medical Center, Jan can change her story one robotic arm at a time. Doctors implanted electrodes in Jan's brain that allow her to control a new advanced robotic arm. This is prosthetics controlled directly by the brain, which is a huge step forward for the industry. Development of the brain machine interfaces is clearly moving quickly and science Scientists have even predicted that technology could eventually be used to bypass nerve damage and even reawaken a person's own paralyzed muscles. Awesome. In the meantime, they say that systems like the one on Jan could be paired with robotic exoskeletons that allow paraplegics and quadriplegics to walk, or allow them to at least nibble chocolate, which was all that Jan wanted to do. Seriously, she's like, give me a robotic arm, I'm gonna eat some Wonka. Yeah. And she did. She ate the Wonka. She's a badass. The electrodes were connected to the robotic hand via a computer running a complex algorithm that translated the signals that mimic the way an unimpaired brain controls healthy limbs. And accurately translating the brain signals has been one of the biggest challenges throughout. You are, after all, making a brain tell something outside of the body what to do. Science. Science! From people that are way smarter than me. I can't open a jar of pickles to save my life. When are you ever in a situation that you would need a jar of pickles to oh, be man, open you that you know, would have man. your life needing to be have saved? You ever been around a pregnant girl craving pickles? Yeah. It's dangerous. Not that dangerous. How horrible would that be? That soft? <laughs> <laughs> Open that jar of pickles. I can't. <laughs> My palms are sweaty. This is intense. <laughs> These We're aren't even plastic. You got the Clawson ones. As for Jan, it took her a couple weeks to master, but she is currently able to move objects and reposition them. Huge, huge progress. And her progress continues to get better and better. Even though there are a lot of challenges ahead for Jan, it is incredible that these scientific and technological breakthroughs are happening. And we're alive and we're witnessing it. And oh, I'm gonna have a robot friend someday. Yeah. So guys, what would you make? Or a cyborg friend. Either way. So guys, or another imaginary friend. An imaginary friend? Another. That is not a robot friend though. How do you know? My imaginary friend can be a robot. I know, right? So guys, you can make He's anything move with your just <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Sorry, go ahead. That's fine. So guys, I apologize get... for doing all of it. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, if you can make anything move with your mind, what would it be the entire time I was on edge? <laughs> Oh, get it out! Oh, man. So guys, if you can make anything move with your mind, what would it be? Let us know in the comment section down below. And then make your arm move with your mind to the like and subscribe buttons, then click this here annotation, go to sourcefed.com. You can get immersed in everything that is us. You can go to Four Human Peoples. You can pick up posters and shirts with our faces on it. You can put us all around your existence, which you should. I just moved product with my mind, you see that? I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. What's up, buddy? I know. I know. I deal with it every day. Ha <laughs> ha.